the chapter begins with nelson mandela describing the much awaited dawn of 10th of may 1994 bright and clear here dawn refers to start of a new era because darkness of slavery was replaced by brightness of liberty many world leaders and dignitaries from around the world have gathered before the inauguration ceremony in south africa the largest number south africa have ever hosted here mandela has used a phrase be seized by its meaning is surrounded closely by matlab khira hona like this soil south african soil so soil means here country like this d a w and don its general meaning is morning he says the ceremonies took place in a sandstone amphitheater formed by the union buildings in the capital city of pretoria today the supremacy of the white have ended and the gathering appeared like a sight of rainbow as rainbow compromises of different colors different colored people and different nations have gathered to witness the first democratic non-racial government of south africa in the next slide children i will show you what is an amphi theater so children in this slide you can see that amphi theater is a circular building it is without a roof and with rows of seats that rise in steps around an open space on that lovely autumn day unlike in india may is an autumn season mandela was accompanied by his daughter zenani mr d club first sworn as second deputy president then followed by thabo mapki as first deputy president and then mandela took the pledge as the president to obey follow and support the constitution and to devote himself to the well being of the republic and its people his speech started by referring to all the guests and to his people that their presence had provided hope to new freedom and future of south africa in the next line he says by an extraordinary human disaster here mandela meant to say that colored people have suffered immensely due to discrimination 
at the hands of whites. He considered it as a great glorious human achievement that a black person had become the president of the country where the blacks were not considered as human beings and were treated badly. Then he says he felt privileged to be the host to the nations of the world because not too long ago the South Africans were considered outlaws. He thus thanked all the international leaders for having come to witness his venture as president. Since this event could be considered as a common victory for justice, peace and human dignity. We have at last achieved our political emancipation. Emancipation means freedom from restriction. He said that at last they achieved freedom from restriction. It means they got their political rights. He sets out the ideals of poverty elevation and removal of suffering of people. He also sets the ideal for a society where there would be no discrimination based on gender or racial origin. Now never, never and never again. Here, he wished for the country that it must remain free forever and no oppressor must rule over them. Then children, the sun shall never set on so glorious a human achievement. So here, he wants to say that the sun of liberty shall never set and their country should enjoy freedom in future. So children in this slide you can see that amphitheater is a circular building. It is without a roof and with rows of seats that rise in steps around an open space. Children, in Republic Day Parade, you all must have watched the tricolor flag formation by the Indian Air Force jets. Similarly, the South African Ampala jets have formed a V-shaped train of colorful smoke representing their flag. Nikosi Sikil I Africa was the song that was sung by African National Congress during their freedom movement. So the whites hated it. Similarly, Dai Stem was the old national anthem of South Africa that whites used to sing. So the blacks hated it. But on the day of the inauguration, two national anthems were sung, one by the whites 
and the other by the blacks though they were not knowing the lyrics of the song this symbolized the equality of blacks and whites now children you listen nikusi sekela i africa national anthem which was sung by black population of south africa Now you listen Dai Stem Old National Anthem which was sung by white people of South Africa children the last paragraph of this page starts on the day of the inauguration so here mr mandela describes that on the day of inauguration he has witnessed change in the events of history he remembers that in the first decade of the 20th century the white skinned people of south africa patched up their differences here they are refers to white people of britain and dutch descendants known as boer community who were earlier fighting with each other but after the second anglo boer war britishers won then they settled on some agreements they established a system of racial discrimination against the dark skinned people creating one of the most harsh and in human societies the world had ever known that is apartheid here children i want to tell you what was the cause of anglo boer war as you know children south africa is rich in minerals so first their land was occupied by dutch and later on britishers came then both of them fought with each other which resulted in anglo boer war children now i am taking the last three lines of this paragraph and continuing it now in the last decade of the 20th century so he says that in the last decade of the century previous inhuman system has been overturned and replaced by a new system that treats people equally without paying attention to their skin colors and giving them equal rights and freedom mandela recalls the contributors and patriots whose 
unimaginable sacrifices sufferings and courage had paved the way for south africa's independence he wants to pay his tribute to all the people who had sacrificed their lives for the sake of freedom he feels about himself that he is the sum of all those african patriots who had gone before him because those patriots heroes of yesterday years had made the path of cooperation and unity for him therefore he got the support of his people to be able to come to power to bring equality for his own people in the next paragraph mandela describes the oppression and cruelty of apartheid system that has not only created deep and lasting wounds in his countrymen's heart but had unintentionally also produced the oliver tambos the walter sislo the chief lutheli the yusuf dadus the bram fishers the robert sukko of his time these are some prominent names who fought against the apartheid but whose courage wisdom and generosity are unparalleled here it means that it cannot be compared with anybody else he further says that maybe when people are under the strain of such depths of oppression that creates such men of great character just like diamond is created under great pressure so here children he compares them with diamonds and says that people with such characters are purer than diamonds he says the ceremonies took place in a sandstone amphitheater formed by the union buildings in the capital city of pretoria today the supremacy of the white have ended and the gathering appeared like a sight of rainbow as rainbow compromises of different colors different colored people children this paragraph is very important so you please pay attention this paragraph starts from no one is born hating so he says that people should love each other and not hate anyone on the basis of their color creed race religion or background he believes love comes naturally not by force he remembers unpleasant memories of his prison days when he along with other activists of freedom movement were tortured beyond 
tolerance. Children, here I want to tell you, Mr. Mandela was sentenced to life imprisonment and 27 years of his life he lived in jail in which 18 years he lived in an isolated Robin Island which is very similar to our Kalapani jail of India which is in Andaman Nicobar cellular jail where our patriots like Veer Savarkar were sentenced. In the prison he says he remained optimistic and he says sometimes he saw humanity in the eyes of prison guards. Here we can see the glimpse of his character even though he was tortured and isolated by those prison guards. He sometimes saw humanity in their eyes and that proves his philosophy that man's goodness is a flame that can be hidden but never extinguished. So here in the last lines he sees that good qualities of human beings like humanity, kindness, love etc. is just like a flame, flame of fire which can be hidden for some time but it cannot be put off. Last paragraph of this page Mandela further mentions that every man has to fulfill his two types of duties, one towards his family, parents, wife and children and other towards his people, his community and his country. In a civil society where everyone is equally treated. There each man can fulfill these duties. According to his inclination and ability. Here Mr. Mandela honestly states that in the beginning his inclination was not towards his people but towards his family but later when he realized the oppression his people were facing then he tried to stand for his people's right but when he tried to serve his people and his community he was punished tortured isolated and put into jail and so he was separated from his family and was prevented even to fulfill his family duties. Children, in 1962 Mr. Mandela was sentenced to life imprisonment and in 1969 his beloved eldest son, Thambi, died in a car accident. But poor father was not allowed to attend his son's funeral. So you can understand that 
to fulfill his duty towards his community he was deprived to fulfill his duty as a father children you can see this slide in this slide you see a carefree african boy so here mandela describes his ideas of freedom at different stages of his life as a boy he had an illusion about freedom he thought he was born free as long as he obeyed his elders he had the freedom to run in the fields swim in the stream and ride on the back of bulls children the last paragraph of this page starts on the day of the inauguration so here mr mandela describes that on the day of inauguration he has witnessed change in the events of history he remembers that in the first decade of the 20th century the white skinned people of south africa passed up their differences here they are refers to white people of britain and dutch in the next paragraph he says later as a young man in johannesburg he desired for the basic and honorable freedom of achieving his potential earning his keep marrying and having a family and slowly he realized that real freedom means equal rights for everyone and to fulfill this aim he joined the african national congress as he wanted his people to live with respect and dignity he realized that real freedom is inseparable and so he started fighting not only for his own freedom but for all his community he here emphasized this idea that chains on any one of my people were the chains on all of them the chains on all my people were chains on me children in the last paragraph mandela says that he does not feel that the oppressor is free because according to him oppressor is a prisoner of hatred who is locked behind the bars of preconceptions and narrow mindedness so he feels that the oppressed is robbed of his share of humanity by the oppressor but the oppressor by doing so is also robbed of his humanity